<laughs> Hello there. Welcome to another episode of An Intervention Live, the show where anything can happen and the live component is the weakest feature of the show. Uh, my name is Dan Eden. I, uh, what did I do? What have I done with my life? I've uh, written, I've directed, and I've edited a little film called uh, An Intervention. And uh, now I'm the host of a talk show, a very popular talk show on Instagram Live. It's called An Intervention Live. And, uh, oh, you know, anything can happen. Speaking of, we got someone popping in right now. What a, uh, wait for it, people. Uh, while we wait here, let me go over some orders of business here. Uh, number one is uh, <laughs> Gentle Lurch. Kevin Kirchner wants to know what's going on. I'll tell you what's going on. We got someone uh, joining us, someone very important right now, I think. Uh, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is monumental. Come on, Dan. Who do we have here? We have Fire Tank Frank. We have uh, Ryan O'Hara here. He uh, portrayed uh, Fire Tank Frank in an intervention. How are you? Doing good, man. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Can't complain. You know, I have my own talk show here, so everything's going great. Uh, you were at the uh, at the watch party uh, last Friday. Thank you for joining us. Fire Tank. That's my cat. Sorry, he's cameoing here. You were at the watch party, Cameo. and uh, thank you for joining us. We had a great time, uh, really a re lot of fun. So I have some questions for you, even though I was not expecting you, Ryan. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let me get my dumb cat out of the way here. You're not dumb. You just move. All right, number one, for the viewers, what was the inspiration for Fire Tank Frank? <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah. So growing up, one of my uh, good friends, younger cousin, huge wrestling fan he there is an actual frankie who basically has a nickname he is fire tank frank so i can say that i borrowed a little bit from my friend's younger cousin who i've hung out with i've actually uh we've done there's pictures of us doing the fire tank doing the yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm inspired from him and he's uh He'll probably one day really watch it and be like, man, that could have been me, but I'm sure I'm glad it was myself. <laughs> <laughs> now I have a question more specifically about the fire tank dance. Does it matter which arm you do when you extend it and you nod your head yes? Or... <laughs> <laughs> it's a great question. Does it matter? Yeah. So for me, it was always, it's always the right arm and it's, it's not too high. Okay. It's like a little up and then just the head bob. For the, I know we call it the dance. There was some great moments. <laughs> movie when people are like what kind of dance but yeah it's, it's the fire tank frank dance some people question chelsea questions if, if it's even a dance yeah um so i have another question for you cool. have had you acted or improvised before this movie i will say i have not um it was one of those times where i what a little <laughs> Right? I was overwhelmed and a little intimidated. I go, I'm in over my head here. I don't know what all these guys are experienced, but uh, you know, it, it ended up everybody was so nice and everybody flowed. Um, when we started practice that you shared some videos on, right? I was like, oh, I don't know how it's going to go. But, you know, when it came time to film, it was, you know, it was like lightning in a bottle. Like you said, it just, it just worked. Excellent. Excellent. I thought you did a great job. I, I love blending like, formally trained actors, ones who went to school for it, and ones who just like to do it because it's fun to do, and maybe they just fell into it later. There's nothing wrong with blending the two, and uh, you're in the latter category. Nothing wrong, for, nothing wrong with that. I love seeing your breed interact with that breed. It just, it's fun to watch, you know? Oh, yeah. uh, I think they got a kick out of it, too. So, um, Do you remember shooting the movie in 2013 much? Uh, that was a long time ago, I know, but... No, that, that's, that's funny. You know, I, I do remember shooting it. The only, there's, there's bits and parts where, like, I don't remember getting mic'd up, which is funny. I was like, because I made the surprise entrance in the movie, right? I'm coming through the backyard, and we've talked about that before. And, and yeah. I really don't know is because 
the, the sound guy was in the, the bathroom. Like, did I sneak in through the bathroom first alone or did they come out to my car? That's one thing. It's a mystery. Maybe uh, Kevin will have to l let us know one time if, if he recalls where it was. <laughs> but uh, um, the movie. Yeah, logistically, we probably should have went over that with you. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but no, I think you, you kind of showed up to set. We got you on the mic and we kind of threw you into it as far as I remember. Like, let's just go for it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you did hop the fence to get to the back door, yeah. uh, as you stated. <laughs> Nothing. To Sorry, what was that? There was no, like, you know, gauges, so you just had to like, yeah. stop and get over it. Uh, <laughs> give myself <laughs> my breath before I kind of made the, the knock on the back window, which is, uh, got some great reactions, I thought. It was uh, a genuine surprise for the cast. Mm -hmm. Kevin said uh, the cast gelled really well together. Great casting. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, we got Nate watching here. Nate, Nate uh, Kirch. Um, so uh, he says it was like climbing over the top rope. So uh, <laughs> it's a great <laughs> um, question. Number four, uh, what kind of character would you want to play in the future? Do you, you see yourself acting in the future much? Uh, and if so, what kind of character would you want to play? I, I, I would like to continue uh, the hobby of doing some acting on the side. I will say, you know, I'm, naturally my roles have been more kind of uh, heel roles, so bad guys per se, um, which I think fit well with my personality and just kind of what I bring. But, you know, ideally, maybe I could do something more serious sometime, maybe down the road, but uh, certainly comfortable in the, the, the roles I have been playing, but maybe down the road, <laughs> serious side, you know, see if I can pull that up. Yeah, that would be that would be cool. That would be interesting. I think uh, I have one more question for you. Uh, did you get to try the roast on the on the day of the shoot? And, and what do you think of the roast? Greg's roast? <laughs> is this Gerard? I gotta make. Uh, you know what? I don't think he is. Unfortunately, no. I think they're tucking the kids in. I don't want to. So. No. Yes, I do remember. We actually we, we ate the roast. So it was a real roast. And uh, I thought it was pretty good. I think by that time we were shooting for a long period of time. So we were hungry for anything. So I don't remember if it was particularly, <laughs> we were hungry, we ate the roast. <laughs> the, the roast doubled as craft services, guys. That's the thing about these uh, no budget movies. Uh, you know, you'd be surprised. They're not as fancy as you'd think. I don't know. But uh, Ryan, uh, do you have any questions for me? I always I don't turn the tables. I never do that, but. I wanted to ask you, Dan, so you know, hmm. at yourself and Kevin as the camera crew, like, was it bothersome that sometimes you couldn't see everything that was going on for yourself? Or were you just, you knew, you know, you, Kevin's got the other stuff, you get what you have, and you were confident that the shots would come together? Yeah, I think it just, I think it's kind of like with you guys, it's like, it was just fun to see what the other side got when you weren't there. There's a lot of, to discover there. I just kind of trusted in the casting and, and just the, the, the backstories, I gave you guys the bios and everything. And we had a relative re a loose structure, but we had a structure. Yeah. So I just, I trusted you guys and I just couldn't wait to see what you did, you know, cause there's a full, Greg's full interview in the office was done without me. That was just Kevin and Jer. So to watch that unfold with the basal denial and all that stuff, that was pretty much Kev working with, uh, with Jer there. All, uh, in that scene so that's fun to watch you know um, fun to edit sorry, Dan. So, I'm sorry no no is it <laughs> I was just gonna you know piggyback off of like some of the the back interviews where people were just kind of doing those office style interviews kind of just kind of you know narrating it in almost convention or uh, confessions like you said um, I thought mm -hmm. they did such a good job helping my character out so I want to give props to the rest of the cast and crew like there were some really funny moments that I know, uh, like uh, when Chelsea's talking, like what exactly is a fire tank? I thought that was like phenomenal. Um, <laughs> you know, Greg was mm -hmm. about Jared's character was talking about like you know he loved he like hyped the tuxedo shirt and then he makes the comment, "I'm not sure how he got to the back door." Like those were things that <laughs> my character you know forward and it allowed my yeah. just craziness to you know, really continue the hype through the scenes and through, you know, where I wasn't on screen, but still my character was involved in some of the stuff. So I thought, you know, I want to give shout outs to all of them for helping push uh, Fire Tank be the uh, the character that it, it needed to be to be, uh, I think, pretty good. Absolutely. But, you know, Fire Tank is 
most of the audience's favorite character. I think that's safe to say. I've been hearing a lot of love for Fire Tank, a lot of love for Kay Paul, a lot of love for Henry as well, and some love for Marsha, surprisingly, uh, even though she's posited as kind of the villain of the movie. Yeah. But uh, I just, uh, I think you did a great job. Um, I, you, you, you really showed us a side of yourself in the movie. Wink, wink to all the people watching this out there that uh, you really were brave enough to show in your film feature film debut. So, Well, I'm telling you, you know, the young actor who was hungry, I don't know if I do the same in my older age now, but <laughs> that's a hungry <laughs> young actor trying to make it. You know, he's willing to do what it takes. So you got to you got to get them while they're young so you can take <laughs> advantage of them. That's the director's way. Yeah. Wink, there might be something special, uh, you know, some eye candy for some folks if they want to, you know, take a peek. <laughs> you know, there's there's definitely more, I don't, there's more of the female gaze than the male gaze in the movie, I would argue, because of the butt. But, you know, there's cat in there as well. But, uh, you know, thank you for bearing it uh, for, the, for the movie. I think uh, a lot of people appreciate that. Um, I wanted to announce... Sorry, what, sorry. For that scene, I, I was thinking about it. I don't want to go too deep, but I was thinking, like, how much, I, I forget, because so much was ad lib, but that was a structured scene, I believe. We, we set that up specifically for that scene, so that was a little more, at least I wasn't just sitting up there awkward for too long. <laughs> when it's the game. Yeah. So that was there was, you know, here's the structure. It's you guys show up to the house, you know, we do the, the letters, and then you have to get caught mid coitus and uh if you want to show your butt that's just extra credit i guess you know so hey extra credit for for yeah. ryan hilarious katie's over laughing hilarious. uh um so i think uh i think we should work together again and i think uh if uh if we do do it again it'll be here's what i want to do and i don't want to spoil the next project or anything but i think if you're up for it would you get would you get pumped again and like like get in like for like an action role? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit. See I like I don't like I don't I like putting people on the spot live cuz you could hold them to it but no you, you know we'll talk later but uh there's other ideas that I have and stuff like that but you know it was good talking to you Ryan and um yeah action Katie's asking action an action movie yeah. I think it would be so cool to uh to do this style of movie like a mockumentary but like in the action genre like uh like like fisty cuffs like john wick you know and uh i have a funny idea that i think that would be cool but we have another one coming out and uh but anyway i wanted while i have you here i wanted to make the announcement that uh the movie is going to hit blu-ray on february 16th um oh. They tell me the retailers are uh, like Best Buy, Amazon, FYE. Uh, I don't know if it's exclusively, exclusively digital or if you can actually physically pick them up in stores. Um, but yeah, February 16th, that's exciting. Uh, Blu-ray, you'll have a physical copy in your hand of, uh, of the movie. And uh, it's on Prime now. Uh, you missed, guys missed the watch party. That was fun, right, Ryan? That was the best. It was so good to catch up with uh, some of the cast and crew since I haven't got to interact much with a lot of uh, a lot of them. So it was great to even chat. And then, you know, afterwards we did a mini Zoom call, which was great, too. So hoping to I wish I recorded that. I really did, because that probably would have been like one of the best features to share is an actual conversation between all of us, which I think we should schedule. Like, honestly, let's just do it in the near future. Let's just get all of us together and let's talk, you know. Yeah, I will ask one more question too because I remember because so before sure. we, we we did a couple smaller like sh shorts before I think that was before intervention right like timeline wise I believe so yeah Kevin had one it was uh, called it, Murder it's what's for dinner you can watch on YouTube where I play uh, a guy that you well I don't want to spoil it you just have to watch it but uh, hey baby hey <laughs> I was I've been watching those older ones recently oh they they were they were fun to look back on. Mm -hmm. I mean, they certainly uh, are. Funny um, and Legs is a, is a cold classic. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Everybody needs to go check that out. <laughs> lips and Legs. Hashtag Lips and Legs. So, uh, featuring Jeremy M. Eden in drag. That's fun. Um, 
You know, we got locked out of our Eek channel on YouTube recently. We can't access it. I think it got hacked, so we have to start anew. That's why we have an intervention YouTube channel as opposed to just putting it all on that channel, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, you also did Three Guys, One Room. Don't yes. forget that. You played Big O, which is, you know, oh, loosely, I... loosely based on Ryan O'Hara, you. Um, man. That was a long time ago. That was like 10 years ago. Oh, that was um, good. Oh, there was, starting there to feel old. So I, I gotta, I, we, we better bounce before we start to feel really old here, right? Um, better. But yeah, let's, let's get the Zoom call going together really soon. We'll get Kev, we'll get Katie, we'll get Brian, we'll get Phil, we'll get Kara, we'll get Mike, hopefully all of them. And we'll, we'll talk about the movie for a little while. That'd be fun. That sounds great, Dan. Catching up. Thanks for continuing the hype train. It's, it's always fun to be a part of something like this. So this is great. Thank you very much for, uh, for being on Inter Intervention Live, the show where anything can happen and anyone can pop in, including, obviously, Fire Tank Frank rocking a sweet, what is that, a sweet uh, yeah. team cap? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Dan? Yeah. Uh, have you been watching? Watch I was going to ask, are you, have you been watching WandaVision? Are you into that? I did, and I was actually uh, hyping it a little bit to Kevin. I liked a little bit, of, like the dark mysteriness of it. And after episode three, I really started to kind of think deep about it. So I have been watching; it. it's pretty cool. How about you? I love it. Yeah, I love it too. And uh, every I, everything you said, I yeah, totally. The mystery elements. It's like I'm wondering what it's all culminating into. It's something that Marvel hasn't really done before. Yeah. And we're, I'm sorry, as you're leaving, I'm like, hey, what'd you think of WandaVision? Oh, cool. uh, so <laughs> okay. I've heard Let's head out. Okay, I'll head out for real. What's that? I was teasing. Like, I've heard mixed reviews. So I'm like, I don't know. I'll give mm -hmm. it a shot. But I love, like, the, the 50s, like, nostalgia time period. Like, even, mm -hmm. like, the clothing, everything, all the looks, like, the looks of every, like, the simpler life. I love that setting. So I knew I would probably like the show. But, yeah, I'm glad you, you're yeah. it's good. The mystery is so good. I'm loving it. I, uh... Yeah, I'm wondering, yeah, what it all, uh, I'm, I'm, I think it's going to be something sad, something big, maybe both in the MCU, we'll see. But uh, anyway, this isn't for MCU, this is for an intervention. So you guys, you should go to Amazon Prime, you should watch, watch the movie if you watch it today. And if you haven't reviewed it, please review it. For sure. Yes, thank you, Ryan. Um, okay, thank you so much for being on an intervention. We'll talk soon, buddy. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Later, Dan. Exit music. The fanfare. I love it. All right. Bye.